news brief. Digital sounds tour in one shop management scene and dungeon. Crowner Moonlighter has sold over 500,000 copies across all platforms. It's a milestone that comes a little under one year into the game's lifespan. Moonlight first hit PC, PlayStation 4 and X1 in May 2018, and later launched on Nintendo Switch. Following the 500, 000 sales announcement Digital Sound also announced a new DLC due out this summer and that the game is headed to mobile before the end of 2019. However, the then a straight port. That coming release will be rebalanced and redesigned to better suit mobile screens and input. News brief, Unity has acquired Vivox, the company behind e-text and voice. Based communication tools used in games like Fortnite, Player You Knows Battlegrounds, and League of Legends. TechCrunch reports that the exact terms of the sale have not been publicly released, but know that much of the day to day for Vivox will remain the same as the Unity subsidiary. The company is keeping its HQ in Framingham, Massachusetts will continue to operate under Vivox founder Rob Siever, who now reports to Unity CEO John Richie and will continue to offer its tools to developers that do not use Unity. For Vivox, the acquisition does mean that its tech could reach platforms that typically do not see due options for communication, like mobile, thanks to Unity's own cross-platform experience. Richie also notes that the purchase could give Vivox access to industries outside of video games, such as architecture, engineering, construction, and the auto industry. If you are expecting to attend the 2019 Game Developers Conference in San Francisco this March, please make sure to book your travel and accommodations sooner rather than later. It's shaping up to be a fantastic show, and organizers do not want you to be caught booking accommodations at the last minute. The start of this year's is closer than you think. March 18th, to be exact, conference organizers have once again arranged some special deals for the attendees with select housing partners. Deals you can only access by booking your travel and accommodations. Through the BD Travel Hub, please act fast. Though, housing partners have reserved a set number of rooms for BD attendees to book at a discounted rate, and those reserved rooms tend to go quickly, so do not wait too long to arrange travel and lodging. FORGDC 2090 in San Francisco is a vibrant city with lots to see and do. So if you do not take advantage of the exclusive BD Travel Hub hookups, you will be competing with other city visitors for accommodations. Bring your team to BD, register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn MORE HERA. For more details on GDC 2000, on 19 visit the show's official website. Or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, OS, Goddard Sutra and DD are sibling organizations under parent company Informa. Unity has revised its terms of service. Toads, to ensure developers can use any third-party service that integrates into Unity. The change is in response to the engine maker's dispute with the spec loss creator improbable and means the company is no longer in breach of Unity's toes. Unity said in a blog, It appears to be good news for devs, who really inspect loss, during the online multiplayer side of their projects. Although Unity has still distanced itself from improbable, explaining it cannot vouch for how their service works with Unity as we have no insight into their technology. Today's change in our toes means improbable is no longer in breach by providing you a service, and that we are able to reinstate their licenses, said Unity.
We know improbable was in violation, even before the December toast update on the misrepresented their affiliation with us. Although Spatalos is not a supported third-party service, it can continue to be used for development and shipping games. Unity also said it will let developers who do not upgrade their projects stick with the Somatos agreement they accepted when they signed up, allowing them to avoid any potentially undesirable changes. The company has also pledged to host any toast changes on GitHub be to be completely transparent about what changes are happening. And when, when you make a game with Unity, you own the content and you should have the right to put it wherever you want. Our toast did not reflect this principle, something that is not in line with who we are, explained the company. Our toast update on December 5th was an attempt to define what our terms mean for the cloud and an opportunity to make our business model clearer. After listening to developers, we realized how this language came across and how it would impact your ability to choose. Unity is holding an Ask Me Anything session on Reddit at 10 a.m. PST to discuss the changes. But you can find out more right now over on the Unity blog, Newsbrief, Runner Deck. The developer behind the Carp Digital published game Bomber Crew has been acquired by Cat Alice, Curve Digital's parent company. The deal comes a year and a half after the release of Bomber Crew, and as Runner Deck has two more games in the series in development. In a statement, Catalyst CEO Dominic Wheatley says that this prior relationship helped pave the way to the recent acquisition as well. A press release notes that the acquisition was a cash and shares deal, but does not offer details on the terms of the arrangement aside from that. But, with that deal signed, Renner Deck joins the publisher Crowd Digital, testing on the support service provider Testronic and developer Kuju as Catalyst subsidiaries. Wheatley also says that Renner Duck is just the first of several acquisitions the company hopes to complete in the next year with the goal of continuing to build up Catalyst as a prominent game company in the United Kingdom. He notes that the company is currently chasing some leads, but is also actively interested in talking to developers that might be interested in joining the company. Zach Borth announced the creation of a KICKSTARTERCAMPAGNEARLIER today to help fund a book filled with design documents from all of Zachtronics games as well as unreleased titles titled Zach Like. This collection could be a neat opportunity for fellow developers interested in learning about the behind the scenes for multiple games, including Shin's 901 Exapunx, according to the Kickstarter campaign, which has already exceeded its $5.000 goal. The book does not contain much narrative history or any theories of game design, but should be thought of as a record of the Zachtronics design process in action. The 500-page book is also estimated to contain 90% pictures and 10% text, as explained in the campaign. After everyone who backs the project receives a physical copy of the book, Bart intends to release a PDF for free at some point as well. Interested developers can check out the Kickstarter for Zach, like here. The 2019 Game Developers Conference has released the results of the 7th Annual State of the Industry Survey, revealing trends in the game industry ahead of GD 2019 in March. The survey compiles responses from nearly 4 game developers and reflects that nearly half of game developers support game industry unionization as well as uncertainty around Steam's revenue sharing model, and insights into the amount of time developers have spent working overtime hours in so-called 
Crunch. The State of the Industry Survey is the seventh entry in the ongoing series of yearly reports and serves as a snapshot of the game industry, illustrating industry trends ahead of the D2019, organized by ARM. The D2019 takes place March 18th minus 22 at the Moscone Convention Center in San Francisco, California. Nearly half of game industry professionals think game industry workers should unionize. Unionization is a hot topic in the game industry these days.